I do flower arranging for our local church once a month and I was finding it was very difficult because I was doing big arrangements and I couldn't really see whether things were straight or not. Yes, I've heard of um, this age-related disease to the eye because my sister, uh, old, six years older than me, had it. I'd not heard about uh, this problem before. Uh, other than the fact that my mother-in-law had got a, a grid that she was having problems with her sight, but I didn't realise that's what I had. It was a bit of a surprise that this was my condition. I just thought it was an age thing. These patients who present early and who are treated early get the best results. When I came back from holiday, the first thing I did was make an appointment to see the optician. And I knew that he would be able to take a scan, which he did. And he explained what he was going to do. He was going to send this to the hospital for the doctor to see. He also emailed a copy of this to us at home. And um, the doctor asked me to come to his clinic the next morning and I had more tests the day after that and the first injection was a week from seeing the optician. Some of us can use more modern methods such as using telemedicine where the images can be transferred to us in primary care to the hospital or ophthalmic services. The general ophthalmologist needs to know so much more about retinal care than previously the general ophthalmologist needs to know when to refer the patients. The high street optician needs to be aware of these things. The general practitioner needs to be aware of it. Now that we have treatments that work, speedy referral of those patients who require treatment is necessary. I was told that there was treatment available and I was just terribly grateful when I heard that. Before the first injection, I was apprehensive, um, but I have to say that everybody here uh, and the doctor was very calm, gentle, patient, reassuring. Um, so whilst I was nervous, I felt that I was safe. So it wasn't until my doctor said that, well, there are other things probably we can look at, uh, that I started to look myself on the computer and ask people and ask questions to find out more information about it. I'm not quite sure I quite understood when somebody said we're going to do some injection treatments. At that point, what it would entail. I think a lot of patients, when, when they get a window after they're given a diagnosis, they're very frightened. Um, they're more frightened about the actual process of the injection more than anything else. It's the thought of the injection that frightens them. Um, obviously, I give them as much reassurance as I can and I give them information on, on the condition and written information about the process of actually going through the injection, what to expect on the day and um, what to expect after. But then um, referring on to the eye clinic liaison officer gives them more psychological support. I, I, I come in transport um, provided by the hospital. I have to be ready quite early usually an hour and a half through the day if the appointment is then because of the, 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 the drive to pick up other patients and it just, just doesn't come for one person and I understand that and I'm willing to do that and I get ready and give myself plenty of time. The burden of the disease in terms of attending for clinical appointments and hospital appointments Many people worry about this and commissioners of healthcare worry about this. Personally, I don't worry about it too much when I see such a benefit to the patients. And also, it's fair to say that many of the patients don't worry about it too much. Most of the people do not mind investing the small bit of time that is required to come to the clinic or hospital, have their scan done and have their injection in a timely fashion. Now I think I've probably had almost 20, if not 20. I think the more injections I've had, the easier they've become and it hasn't been such a traumatic experience as it was in the first instance. It is a team effort and the multidisciplinary team 
of the medical staff, the nursing staff, the eye clinic liaison staff, even the social workers are all involved in this multidisciplinary care for the patients with these blinding eye diseases. We actually explain to patients before they start on the, the treatment that this treatment is, the treatments and reviews are what we call lifelong, so once they're in the system, they're with us for, for the life then, they have the first three loading injections, they come for a review four weeks later and if they're stable they come for a review again four weeks later that which is a continuous four week reassessment until they need another injection because they are going to need another injection at some time in the future. The secret of course is to make the visit to the clinic as comprehensive and intense as, as possible in the time available. So for example we will do the visual acuity, the OCT, before the patient sees the doctor then the doctor decides whether there's another injection needed or not. The doctor will give the patient the option of whether to have that injection today. We could, oh, could have no sight at all, only peripheral vision in both eyes and no, no, I'm, I'm delighted and thankful that there is such treatment. My vision is good and I'm very happy and comfortable with everything now. My vision has improved a lot and the distortion's gone and I think I noticed that after probably the fourth injection and now it's, it's much better, much improved. There's some confidence missing.